This is KNEV.TV weather from the Arby's Weather Center. Arby's, we have the meats. Going to be looking at some scattered showers across the area as we go through the evening hours. Temperatures are going to fall into the 30s and then down to near 30, so not quite as cold as it was this morning as we fell into the low to mid 20s, but still a chilly start to the morning tomorrow. Some showers are around tonight, hit or miss on an isolated basis. More widespread late tomorrow. That looks like our best chance of precip. And some wet snow is going to be possible. Yes, I think we'll see uh, some wet snow more likely in the northern panhandle. And then really, once we get Thursday onward, things look really, really nice. 56 yesterday, a gorgeous Sunday. Had an opportunity to get out and uh, do some hiking up at uh, the Agate Fossil Beds National Monument yesterday. What a beautiful day it was uh, yesterday. Not so much today as we had the winds to contend with. Nothing in the rain gauge. So this is the end of March now. We ended March at 261 officially at the airport for precip. That is uh, one and a half plus times above normal. We're starting the month of April now over an inch and a quarter ahead of schedule for the year thanks to that wet March that we had. Temperatures, boy, you can sure tell it's starting to turn spring. 40 here in Laramie. We have 50s in Denver over to Lyman. Goodland at 59, 57 in North Platte. Hastings at 59, still 39 though. Colder air, that has been socked in uh, in this area for quite some time. Temperatures across our area, 40 in Gordon, 52 in Sydney, and uh, somewhere in between for most everybody. Oshkosh at 55, Ogallala at 54, but only 44 up in Lusk. And winds have been howling all day out of the north northwest. We've had gusts at 25, 30, 35 miles an hour. So it's driving temperatures down and uh, very windy out there as we go through the evening hours. Those winds should eventually uh, slack off. We still have uh, flood advisories up here for portions of the Panhandle, the northern Panhandle specifically, uh, Dawes County, Box Butte, uh, and southern uh, tip of Dawes County there, Alliance, Hemingford, Crawford, Shadron, Whitney, all under those flood advisories. It's some nuisance flooding, nuisance flooding in low-lying areas and near those creeks and riverbanks, uh, streams and creeks area, those uh, beds of those is where we're experiencing the flooding from runoff from the snow melt. Isolated hit or miss showers this evening. You'll see them move through here on our future cast. Again, very hit or miss uh, through the nighttime hours and skies are going to turn more cloudy as we get ready for sunrise tomorrow. Temperatures tonight going to fall into the 20s to near 30 degrees across the area. Then for tomorrow, we start the day cloudy, have a brief break only to bring in a better chance of some showers later on in the day tomorrow. Maybe an isolated thunderstorm, not out of the question. And that rain's going to try to turn over to snow. It looks like it may happen in portions of the northern panhandle. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that. And if it does turn over to snow, uh, it could accumulate some tomorrow night. Uh, it's going to be a slushy snow, probably not even on the roadways, because look at highs tomorrow. They're going to be in the 40s to near 50 degrees out here for some of us, even over 50, mid 50s, Ogallala to Valentine. Precip looks like this a little bit this evening and then a better chance of some rain tomorrow. Pretty widespread quarter to a half an inch looking pretty likely here across most of the area. Uh, may not get uh, much in the way up and around Valentine, but the rest of us look like we're gonna be in the ballpark for a quarter to a half an inch of moisture. And again, snowfall potential is gonna be very limited and mainly here to the northern panhandle as we stretch this out through the uh, overnight hours tonight, probably an inch or less will do it for most everybody. Uh, it's just the sun angle is getting so high, temperatures are getting warm enough that we're having a tough time getting that snow to stick to the ground. And I think most of us are probably just fine with that. A few showers around tonight, 29 for a low. Tomorrow, how about 51 with scattered showers, more widespread by evening. So this rain will become more widespread as we go after dark tomorrow. And uh, the seven day forecast, we may mix some snow in late tomorrow night and into early Wednesday morning. Uh, rain then it should come to an end by Wednesday afternoon. Highs only in the mid 40s, so Wednesday looks like a cool day. And then after Wednesday, it is a beautiful stretch of weather. Five days there, not much in the way of precip going on. Look at those highs, 65 to 70 pretty much every day, Thursday through the weekend. And low temperatures in the upper 30s to low 40s as we start to... Uh, finally feel like spring here across the High Plains.